another session of science class 4 today we will understand lesson 7 and will solve exercise of lesson 7 how plants survive as you know plants growing in different region differ from one another so the place where a plant naturally lives and grow is called its habitat. For example, a desert is a habitat for cactus. Plants have some special features that allow them to live in a particular habitat or situation. And these special features are called adaptation. And that's how plants survive. So, based on their habitat, plants can be classified into different types. So, let's understand first type which is terrestrial plant. These plants grow on land. Land has a variety of habitat like forest, mountain, plains and deserts. Even terrestrial plants can be further divided into the following groups based on their habitat like plants growing on mountain, plants growing in plain, plants growing in deserts, plant growing in the coastal region. So from those all the types, let's understand plants growing in the plains. So as you know, plains are the flat and large area of land and generally plains are neither very cold nor very hot. They support the growth of a variety of trees, herbs, shrubs and other plants. Some example of trees growing in plains are people, mango, banyan, gulmohar and cotton. But here some parts of the plains receive heavy rainfall while other receive less rainfall like mango ashoka tree gulmohar tree are some trees that grow in areas with low rainfall and their adaptation are like these trees have many branches that spread out and most of the trees shed all their leaves during the dry season and they are called deciduous trees and some of the plants which have leaves that remain green almost all year round and are called evergreen trees. Suppose a rubber tree and tick tree are some of the example of plants that grow in areas of heavy rainfall. So adaptation of plants in areas with heavy rainfall are they have many leaves that are flat and thin and they do not shed all their leaves during the dry season and they remain green throughout the year and therefore they are called evergreen trees. Now next is plants growing on mountains. So as you know these regions are normally very cold and many mountain peaks receive snowfall in winter season and some trees found on hills and mountain are pine, fir, etc. and some 
flowerless plants like mosses also grow here so some adaptation shown by the plants growing on a mountain are that these trees are tall straight and thin and instead of flowers these trees bear cones with seeds inside them and they are usually conical in shape to allow snow to slide off the plant easily and due to their conical shape they are also called conifers some more adaptation are like these trees are thin tough and needle like with a waxy coating to prevent damage from snow and the leaves have few tiny holes in their leaves to prevent water loss now next is plants growing in deserts as you know extremely hot and dry places are called deserts and there is very little water available in the desert and the example of plants growing in deserts are cactus babool etc and desert plants are also known xerophytes and some adaptation shown by these plants or trees are that leaves change into spines to prevent water loss by transpiration you can see in the picture the stem in some plants is green due to the presence of chlorophyll which is a substance the stem prepared food in such plant and the stem also stores food and water which makes it fleshy and roots spread out deep under the ground in search of water and nutrients even most of the plant growing in desert have spines or thorns which further reduce loss of water now next is plants in swamps these have sticky soil which contains a lot of water it becomes very difficult for plant to grow here because their roots cannot breathe as you can see and hence some of the plants that grow here have roots that grow above the soil and such roots are called breathing roots and because they take in air and help a plant to breathe they also absorb water and mineral required for photosynthesis next is plants on sea coast as you know coconut trees grow in coastal area because they can survive in salty water and prefer areas of high rainfall the seeds of such plants are carried off to far away places by water now after understanding terrestrial plant let's understand second type aquatic plant which means plants that grow in water and they are of main three type floating fixed and underwater so let's understand floating plants stems of floating plants are light and spongy so that they can float on water next is fixed 
plant these plants have their roots fixed to the bottom of the pond and they have thin long and hollow stems to reach the surface of the water next is underwater plants underwater plants grow under the water surface and have thin and narrow leaves and without any stomata their leaves absorb gases dissolved in water directly through their surface next is insectivorous plants so as you know like some animals some plants are also carnivorous in nature their leaves are modified to trap insect and hence they are called insectivorous plants now next type is non green plants there are many kind of non green plants which you can see around you plants such as indian pipe and coral root are non green plants because they do not have chlorophyll which is a substance plants that cannot make their own food and absorb nutrients from dead plants and animal are also called saprophytic plant now as you know plants are very useful to us every day we use things made from plants in some form or the other like we all depend on plants for food fruits vegetables oil sugar cereals pulses nuts spices are all plants product even tea coffee cocoa beans are also obtained from plants even plant fibers such as cotton and jute are used to make clothes carpet and other thing and flax is another type of fiber that we get from plant even coconut tree gives us coconut oil coconut water and coir for making ropes as well as an edible fruit even trees are used to make paper and furniture the hollow stem or can of bamboo tree is used to make baskets huts mats and walking stick even so many plants such as tulsi neem and mint give us important medicines now let's understand fill in the blank with the correct words first p l a n t as plants o n on t h e the m o u n t a i n s mountains a r e r u s u a double l y usually dash first option f l o w e r i n g flowering second option f l o w e r l e double s flowerless next sentence a n d and h a b e have dash first option f r u i t s fruits second option c o n e s cones next word t o t m u l t i p l y multiply 
क्वेश्चन इज प्लांट्स ऑन द माउंटेन्स आर यूजली डैश एंड हैव डैश टू मल्टीप्लाई आंसर इज प्लांट्स ऑन द माउंटेन आर यूजली फ्लावरलेस एंड हैव कॉन्स टू मल्टीप्लाई नाउ नेक्स्ट P L A N T S plants G R O W I N G growing I N N D E S E R T S deserts S T O R E store W A T E R water I N N T H E the dash first option R double O T S roots second option S T E M S stems next word in the sentence W H I C H which B E C O M E become F L E S H Y fleshy the question is plants growing in deserts store water in the dash which become fleshy answer is plants growing in deserts store water in the stem which become fleshy which is the one of the feature of plant growing in desert area now next question l e a v e s leaves o f of u n d e r w a t e r under water p l a n t s plants a b s o r b absorb g a s e s gases dash first option d i double s o l v e d dissolve i n in w a t e r water dissolve in water second option f r o m from a i r r from air next word in the sentence d i r e c t l y directly t h r o u g h through t h e i r there dash first option s t o m a t a stomata s u r f a c e surface second option so the question is leaves of underwater plants absorb gases dash directly through their dash answer is leaves of underwater plants absorb gases Dis dissolve in water directly through their surface which is the feature of plants growing under water now next t h e t j u i c e juice o f of dash first option first option a c a c i a acacia second option b a m b o o bamboo next word in the sentence g i v e s gives u s us g u m gum the juice of dash gives us gum answer the juice of acacia gives us gums now next dash first option t u l s i tulsi second option s h e e s h a m shisham 
नेक्स्ट वर्ड इन द सेंटेंस टी आई वी ई एस गिव्स यू एस एस एम ई डी आई सी आई एन ई एस मेडिसिन डैश गिव्स एस मेडिसिन आंसर तुलसी गिव्स एस मेडिसिन नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फर्स्ट W H I C H which O F of T H E S E these C A N can G R O W grow I N N A R E A S areas O F of L E double S less R A I N F A double L rainfall. Question is which of these can grow in areas of less rainfall? First option P double E P A L people A and D and G U L M O H A R Gulmohar. First option people and Gulmohar. Second option S H double E S H A M Shisham A N D and S A L Sal. Next option A S H O K Ashok. Last option A double L all O F of T H E S E these all of these answer is option D all of these because all of these plants can grow in areas of less rainfall. Now next question. W H I C H which O F of T H E S E these I S is T R U E true A B O U T about T R W E S trees T H A T that G R O W grow O N on M O U N T A I N S mountains. Which of these is true about trees that grow on mountain? First option T H E Y D A R E R T A double L tall A N D and S T R A I G H T. straight they are tall and straight second option t h e y d h a v e have article a c o n i c a l conical s h a p e shape they have a conical shape next option option c t h e y d g r o w grow c o n e s cones w i t h with s d e d s seeds i n s i d e inside t h e m them option c they grow cones with seeds inside them last option d a double l all o f of t h e s e these all of these answer is option d all of these because all of these statement are true about trees that grow on mountains now next w h i c h which o f of t 
टी एच ई एस ई दीज एच ई एल पी हेल्प पी एल ए एन टी एस प्लांट्स जी आर ओ डब्ल्यू आई एन जी ग्रोइंग आई एन इन एस डब्ल्यू ए एम पी वाई स्वयं पी आर ई जी आई ओ एन एस रिजियंस टी ओ टू बी आर ई ए टी एच ई ब्रिथ विच ऑफ दीज हेल्प प्लांट्स ग्रोइंग इन स्वयं पी रिजियन टू ब्रिथ फर्स्ट ऑप्शन बी आर ई ए टी एच आई एन जी ब्रिथिंग एल ई ए वी ई एस लीव्स सेकेंड ऑप्शन बी आर ई ए टी एच आई एन जी ब्रिथिंग एस टी ई एम एस स्टेम्स ऑप्शन सी बी आर ई ए टी एच आई एन जी ब्रिथिंग आर डबल ओ टी एस रूट्स ब्रिथिंग रूट्स ऑप्शन डी सी ओ एन ई एस कोन्स ए एन डी एंड टी एच ओ आर एन एस थॉन्स कोन्स एंड थॉन्स सो एज यू नो दैट प्लांट्स ग्रोइंग इन स्वेम्स एरियाज नीड्स हेल्प ऑफ breathing root because they take in air and help a plant to breathe so answer is option c breathing roots now fourth question w h e r e where d o do s a p r o p h y t i c saprophytic p l a n t s plants g e t get t h e i r there n u t r i t i o n nutrition f r o m from where do saprophytic plant get their nutrition from first option i n s e c t s insect t h a t that T H E Y D T R A P trap insect that they trap second option P H O T O S Y N T H E S I S photosynthesis W I T H with T H E T H E L P help O F of T H E I R there L E A V E S leaves photosynthesis with the help of their leaves third option D E A D dead P L A N T S plants A N D and A N I M A L S animals dead plants and animals option d a l l all o f of t h e s e these all of these answer is option c dead plants and animals because these plants cannot make their own food and therefore they absorb their nutrition from dead plants and animal